Hi everyone, today we'll be sharing with you some experience on how to do aeroponic rate. Aeroponics is an indoor gardening practice in which plants are grown and nourished by suspending their root structures in air and regularly spraying them with a nutrient and water solution. Aeroponics offers an efficient means to grow plants, not only in terms of growing but also in terms of sustainability, since water and nutrients are directly sprayed to the plant's roots which take up only what's necessary for them. As we know, when aeroponic roots are suspended in the air, the plant will get the maximum amount of oxygen available, and without use of a grow medium, the roots have more space to expand out, that will contribute to the rapid growth of plant. However, without the buffer of a grow medium, any problem that arises will rapidly harm the root. If we want to do a great aeroponic, there are five key points that should be paid attention to. First, liquid temperature. A suitable liquid temperature for different types of plant may vary, but most common suitable temperature ranges from 18 Celsius degree to 23 Celsius degree if the liquid temperature is higher than the plant's preference. It will cause root rotted because of low dissolved oxygen, an active enzyme. If the water temperature is lower than the plant's preference, the plant will grow slowly or even stop growth to die due to root freezing. In a word, doing aeroponic, there is nothing shielding the roots from burning up or freezing if the temperature spikes. Nutrient solution. We have to keep eye on the pH and EC value of the nutrient solution. As the nutrient is sprayed directly to the root system, a good nutrient solution can maximize the growth of plants, while an improper nutrient solution will hurt plant quickly. Water quality filtration and sterilization. You know aeroponic is filling the root system with a nutrient-rich mist through a nozzle. In order to prevent the blockage of nozzle, we have to remove impurities before supplying the water to the system. And not only that, we have to kill pests, fungus inside the water to protect the plant's root system. In this way, we can significantly reduce the risk of pesticide usage for growing a more healthy and organic crop. So remember to add and filter and UV light for cleaning the water in your aeroponic system. Water supply guaranteeing. Guaranteeing water supply is essential to doing aeroponic. If the water supply stops, the roots will dry up significantly faster than if it was with a grow medium. There are two suggestions for saving the risk of water break possibilities. First, nozzles. Two nozzles for one plant at least to make sure continuous water supplying if one of them broken, it still have enough time for your plant to tell you something goes wrong and get saved. And if you don't want get many troubles and possible losses in the long run high quality nozzles will be worth what it paid for. Second, store a certain level of water in the bucket. If we make this, we still need to add an air pump into the system to keep the stored water filled with oxygen so as to prevent roots from rotting when they are immersed in. Last major point, piping and buckets material. When we are checking on the online market for finding a nice aeroponic setup, there are always thousands of choices in a wide pricing range. How to choose to find the best one? There are some advice and major two points about the material. In order to reduce the possibilities of hazardous substance infiltration from the plastic materials, it's better to choose food grade ABS made piping and buckets and about color of the bucket. Normally we saw people use black piping and buckets because it prevent light through to stop green alga breeding. This is a good choice, but in order to maximize the energy efficiency of the grow light, a light proof white bucket lip is a better option than black one. The growth of the plant is a comprehensive mechanism contributed to not only the plant's root system, but also the upper part of the plant leaves and stem. Aeroponic has found the most efficient way to build plant root system. Like a car got a best engine we still need tires to get the car run. Plants leave just act as the tires to the car. So if we want to grow an amazing plants, there are some other important factors we have to take care of for the upper part of plants as well like environmental temperature and humidity, lights airflow. We'll discuss it in our next video if you are interested in, don't forget to follow up our channel and welcome to share and comment the video. All above information is shared by GrowSpec Biotech Company. GrowSpec is one of the leading manufacturing company in China for all type of vertical farming systems including vertical aeroponic system, hydroponic system, drip irrigation system, container farming, and best quality lead grow light since 2015. Vertical aeroponic system is also one of GrowSpec major product. GrowSpec has served many commercial agriculture project globally for variety of plants like microgreen, herbs, lettuce, tomatoes, strawberries, and especially cannabis. If you want further information, please visit the website www.prospect-inc.com.